hi everybody uh, in this lesson i will continue with the uh, scroll view in react native uh, in this lesson i will continue to work with horizontal scroll view uh, so firstly i create a new file in the components uh, the new file here is horizontal scroll view dot js uh, so open this new file and i uh, firstly import some of the uh, packages and component here and uh, uh, I define the class uh, horizontal scroll view class uh, uh, here to um, uh, define the component. And inside the component, we have uh, to return the scroll view as a parent view. Uh, inside the scroll view, we have uh, multiple view, and uh, inside the view, we will have a text component. Uh, so, firstly, I set the prop. Uh, horizontal is true it means that you can uh, uh, scroll by ho by uh, horizontally and uh, I get the screen width uh, it is a device width uh, depending on your device depending your on your iPhone your Android phone and uh, it is a device high uh, so uh, we define a view inside the scroll view and uh, this view uh, has a style property is uh, an JavaScript object and this uh, object has a flex is, is equal to 1 it means that uh, the high uh, to be full screen and the marking top uh, 20 uh, and justify content or alignment or align item will uh, allow you to make uh, own the child in the center and uh, we set the width uh, is a screen width to be the screen width. Uh, so uh, I will import this component from index.js. Uh, so I import uh, horizontal scroll view from uh, components folder, uh, horizontal scroll view, and copy this uh, name and paste to here. Uh, so run. So you see that we have one screen. And the marking top here, uh, we can uh, uh, scroll left and to right. Uh, inside the view, we have a text. I add a text to here. And um, this text, uh, text component will show that uh, we are in the screen one. Uh, so I add the content is screen one. Uh, and the style for text, uh, I can set the font size. Uh, the padding uh, and the color and text align to the center. Uh, the color is white, and here you can see that it is a screen, uh, screen one. So the text is inside uh, the view. Uh, so uh, second, you can uh, copy this uh, and make uh, it to be the screen two by copy this view, and uh, I paste to uh, here. Uh, it means that you can uh, define a view here and copy all of these and change the background color, uh, change the text uh, content. So we have the new uh, screen 2. It has a background color tomato and it has a text content is uh, screen 2. So we can uh, a scroll left and right to see the screen one and screen two nicely. Uh, so uh, I do the same or uh, similarly with the screen uh, three. Uh, we have the, uh, the the third view, and inside this view, I change the text to screen three, and uh, the text is inside the view. So we have a three view. Yes, we have a three view as here. But if you want to scroll uh, like a page, uh, what can we do? So now uh, I can uh, add a property a pacing animal uh, is, is equal to true. You set the pacing animal to true. So you can scroll like a pacing. Yes, you can scroll like uh, you uh, scroll a page or an ebook. Uh, so uh, you can show horizontal scroll indicator uh, to show a line, a, a very small line at the bottom to show the horizontal scroll indicator. Uh, so uh, uh, you can also uh, uh, 
uh, add the inset for a scroll indicator, uh, but it is only work with iOS. Uh, it is something like the margin for a scroll indicator. Uh, so we have a space uh, top, bottom, right, left to the scroll indicator. So it is called inset. Uh, but in Android, it does not work. Uh, it does not work on Android. It only work on iOS. And uh, remember that in iOS, we also have the scroll indicator, but no inset. Uh, so. Uh, we also have a function of a function property of on momentum scroll width. It means that it will call this function when you start scrolling. Uh, so this function is also a um, is also an arrow function, and you can alert to the screen that begin scrolling. So if you scroll, it will inform you that begin scrolling. And similarly to iPhone. It will inform you that begin scrolling. Yes, begin scrolling uh, to alert to the screen. And we also have another function, uh, momentum scroll end. Uh, this function is called when you end scrolling or finish scrolling. So uh, I will also do the same as begin scrolling, but uh, alert uh, that we end scrolling. Yes, so you see that end scrolling, okay? You can see begin scrolling and end scrolling. Yes, this is uh, nicely if you want to uh, add more tasks or function inside this function to do some work relating to your uh, finger. Uh, so what about on scroll? On scroll is a function uh, that is called when uh, when you are scrolling and this function also an arrow function uh, but it has uh, an input parameter even so this even uh, means that uh, it is where you touch the screen and uh, here the log data uh, will, uh, ha will be a string I can uh, uh, define the string uh, here even dot uh, native even dot uh, content offset and uh, dot s or dot y and s y here is uh, a coordinate uh, the coordinator of the uh, position or the position when you uh, scroll your finger and you can uh, console log to uh, add the log data to the console when you debug your program uh, you comment out this code line it is not necessary so open the debugger use interface and press to command and i uh, to call the inspector uh, and the inspector here uh, contains the console and you see that when you scroll it only show one coordinator why because you have to set another of property uh, that uh, even throat uh, even throat give you the, the time the time uh, periods to uh, update the coordinator uh, so it means that here 10 millisecond to update the coordinator so here you can see that it is update uh, very smooth for about uh, 10 millisecond uh, one update per 10 uh, millisecond okay uh, thank you very much for watching this lesson uh, lesson today uh, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos or download code from github